Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Rex and Mom, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing The Flash, we're doing Season 1, Episode 13. So we start off with, and, uh, sorry, the episode is called The Nuclear Man. So uh, we start off with Barry gets ready for a date, and then it goes on the date, and then um, in this little moment he sees people while on the date. Uh, Cisco calls and he says like, he says to Linda, like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll literally be right back. And he goes to say his people, and there you go. <laughs> and then we cut to, um, they kiss. And then we t uh, cut to Ronnie, talks to someone, but we don't know who yet. And then, um, uh, then, uh, Barry is talking to Caitlin and Cisco, and then they talk about sex. And that's just one, all kinds of awkward. So, because they don't know how that's going to happen. Or, well, we all know how it happens, but they don't know how it's going to affect Barry. Because he hasn't had it yet since he's been the Flash. So, kind of awkward there. So then, um, Cisco and Joe started to investigate into um, Barry's dad's murder. Barry's mom's murder. <laughs> all kinds of messing up today. And so they check Barry's old house, and this girl named, this woman named Sherry opens the door. And, uh, a revealing outfit in her underwear stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of awkward, and, um, uh, Cisco kind of doesn't mind, and neither does Jeff. So, there's that. They have a flashback where, um... We have the flashback scene where Barry and Einstein are talking um, on the train ride back to Central City for before the particle accelerator goes off. And then um, we go back to the present where Barry and Wells visit Stein's wife. And we find out that Ronnie broke into his wife's house and starts seeing Clarissa and stuff only he would know. And... Um, then we cut to where Cisco finds evidence in um, at Barry's house. It turns out um, it's the wind, um, the um, the mirror that was originally in the house had fragments of it, so it had took like pictures because of the flash of lightnings. Is it took little pictures and stuff of the event? So, which is actually a pretty cool um, bit of CGI they did in that. Super awesome. And then, um, then we cut to Barry's second date. They make out on the couch, and he starts to vibrate a little bit, and Linda loves that. And, uh, then we cut to where Wells and Caitlin, uh, do a stakeout, um, at Stein's wife's house. And then Ronnie does show up. And then we cut to where Barry, um, awkwardly leaves Linda. <laughs> It says, I gotta go, it's an emergency, I gotta go, bye. <laughs> She's not really having it, but, um, anyway, so, then it's, um, then so Flash shows up at the house, and it says, Firestorm versus the Flash, and Firestorm escapes. Uh, Cisco sees what happened, um, back at the house, and then they found blood on the walls, because of the wallpaper, they just kind of covered it up, so you could see the blood. So they actually take samples of it. Then we cut to where Linda and Barry talk. And Linda says, uh, you basically got one shot of me. Two or two chances of me. The first, you already blew the first one, so if you're serious, you, we, we'll do the second one. But then Iris and Linda talk, and um, kind of, Iris kind of blows her off and says what he's looking for and stuff. And she kind of feels the same way about Barry, but it's not really reciprocated. She doesn't really feel like she knows what she's, you know, she's kind of doing, she's not doing it out of spite. She doesn't really realize she's doing it, but it's obvious to Linda that she loves him. Anyway. So then they find Ronnie again, and then um, Ronnie agrees to let them help him. And then Barry talks to Iris and says, I don't have feelings for you anymore, which is obviously a lot, but it's more distant towards her, so it's kind of like a half truth. And then we cut to where Cisco and Joe got to uh, got two different blood samples, but they keep it a secret. And then they then we cut to where they might have to kill Ronnie because he keeps escalating his temperature, 
and um, before he goes nuclear. And then um, Barry um, then proves that he wants to date Linda because on their first date they went to this restaurant where he eats super all hot food. So he eats a ghost pepper to prove that he wants to go out with Linda. And then so she agrees to go out, go out with him, but he still eats the pepper. And he literally has to go, like get some water ACP. And then Wells gives up um, the Tachyon um, device and turns into a, uh, a quantum splicer to um, save Ronnie. But um, but then we cut to a scene where the blood is adult dairy. Because uh, um, Cisco said this, this is Barry's blood. Because Joe goes, well, yeah, he was at the scene. But he... Turns out it's adult there because he has certain um, enzymes that only adults have, which is kind of crazy. So Ronnie then escapes because he kind of overheard them talking about them going nuclear. So he wants to kill himself so he doesn't hurt anybody. Then Caitlin and Ronnie kiss, and because um, that's they find him, and then she puts the device on him, and he technically explodes. And um, Caitlin and Barry run away from the explosion. The army sees it and knows about Firestorm, and that's what we leave off the episode. So a really good episode. You can see a uh, good character development, and I'm very impressed on what's happening so far. And you can see Barry not really pining over Iris anymore. He's trying to branch on trying to move on onto um, a different person, which is Linda. Well, I think it's actually a really good character. Uh, I like her character a lot. I hope she comes back in season four. That'd be cool. So anyway, um, I really have nothing else about to say about it. I like how everything is um, fleshing out. And you get more intro of Ronnie and more of his stuff that's happening. And that's going to do it for me for this episode because that's pretty much all i got to say. So anyway, if you like this video, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.